Hey lovely future corporate mazdoos so today we will see most asked sql questions in tcs interview so let's move on without wasting time and uh, please do hit like button and subscribe to my channel so first what is sql so guys uh, before moving forward i want to say that whenever you are preparing for any subject any topic just remember the uh, things in point so that it will be easier for you to remember and also when you are in front of interviewer you will forget what are the definition you have learned so better to remember the points and you can uh, answer in your own words which will be easy for you also and it will be easy to remember also so let's move on what is sql so first point you will see that sql stand for structured query language and the second is it is a standard programming language used to manage and manipulate relational databases so you need to remember this point manage and manipulate relational databases so and the, the third point is it allows performing operations like creating updating and deleting tables inserting updating and deleting records and also for querying the data okay let's move on what are the different types of sql commands so basically sql commands are classified into five categories the first one is ddl that is data definition language and in this uh, the commands are create alter drop truncate and uh, it is used to define database schema okay the second is dml that is data manipulation language in which insert update and delete commands are there which is used to modify the data in tables the third one is dcl that is data control language the commands are grant or revoke and this is used to control the access to data the uh, the second last is tcl that is transaction control language and in this the commands are commit rollback save point which is used to manage the transactions after la that last is data query language which is the most important and used in sql most is select command which is used for querying the data so what is the difference between where and having clause so first where clause is used with rows and it is used before grouping like it is used as a condition like you can see we are selecting a table from employee where salary is whose employee salary is greater than 50000 okay having clause is used with groups and it is used after grouping example you are taking department uh, count star from employee group by department we are already uh, grouping uh, by department and then we are using having whose count is greater than five okay after that what is the difference between delete truncate and drop so delete is used to delete any specific row like you want to delete uh, the student roll number 10 from the student table so you are deleting some specific rows or for a specific condition then you can use the delete and it can be rolled back or you can say you can undo it and it is a slow process and the table structure remains the same means there will be no harm in the table structure you are deleting only the rows after that the truncate truncate uh, will delete all rows okay like if you have created the student table the structure will remain but the record will be deleted okay so all the rows will be deleted and it is faster and table structure will remain after that the last one is uh, drop which is used to uh, drop entire table means deletes entire table even the structure is also deleted and you can't undo it okay or roll back it what is the primary key and foreign key so primary key is uh, used to uniquely identify each row in a table and it cannot be null or duplicate just like your roll number is unique and you are uniquely identify it and uh, someone is not present in your class whose roll number is not there okay so here uh, how you use the primary key uh, to define id okay so we are creating one student table and we are taking id as in teacher form and we are uh, taking id primary key okay so here you can see id as a primary key and name as a, in the form of varchar as you have id taken in integer form foreign key is used to refer the primary key of another table okay it refers the primary key here the primary key i can say in the student table is id so uh, foreign key from the different table it directly 
refers to the id of uh, student table like this you, we are creating one marks table in which we have a student id in integer form and the foreign key uh, we are uh, establishing the relationship of student id of marks to the student id of the student table okay id of the student table which is a primary key so we are uh, here taking the relationship between two tables by the help of primary key of the other table so what is join what are joins and types so joins we will uh, keep it short and also i have not included cartesian and cell join in this but you can see in the dvms uh, playlist okay so joins combine rows from two or more table based on the related columns we use joins okay Uh, the first one is inner join in this we return the matching rows from both the tables or uh, and in left join we uh, uh, all rows from the left table we take and only the matched columns from the right after that the right uh, right join is all from the right table and uh, only from matched from the left table and uh, full join is all the records when there is a match in either table and this is the example how you write joins you just need to just remove in the on the basis uh, basis of your join like if you have right join you can here write the right join if you have left join you can write here left join but the syntax uh, means your way of right same like select student name from the student table and score from the marks table from student table inner join marks table on Uh, the basis of student id or um, of student and student id of mark so second highest salary is the most asked sql question you can face okay so uh, we can answer in the uh, two forms by using the limit also or by using sub query so in the limit uh, how can you do that select distinct salary first you use distinct so that any of the repeated uh, repeated value will be dismissed like uh, if uh, four employee have 6000 uh, salary or 60000 salary so why to take 60000 uh, you have to find one second highest salary so remove for removing that you use distinct so distinct will make it one only we will take one 60000 and the other one theek okay? hai select distinct salary from employee order by salary we are doing it in descending format we are arranging the salary in descending then we are doing the offset one or limit one so offset one is that you are uh, skipping one okay like if your highest salary is 70000 you are is is keeping the one 70000 and you will moving to the next that is 60000 salary so offset is used for the skipping one and the limit is for only uh, taking the one value after that okay so offset you skip the highest value and taking the second highest and the limit one is uh, you are taking only one second highest value not after that every value will be not there okay only one value you are taking the second highest value after that this is the sub query uh, in which you can sub query can be written uh, from the um, last okay like first we have select the maximum salary from this uh, employee and since we have to take the second highest so this is the highest salary we get uh, and we want and the other um, max salary which is less than this salary okay so select max salary from employee where salary is smaller than the this max salary so here you can take the 70000 and here we will take the 60000 so 60000 is less than 70000 so 70000 will be higher and the 60000 will be second higher like that okay what is the difference between union and union also union combines and uh, removes duplicates okay and uh, means it combine the whole table but if there will be any duplicates uh, then it will remove the duplicate but union all will include all the duplicates uh, you can see the example select name from department a union select name from the department b here if department a and department b have any co common name then they will remove and keep it one but if there will be any union all then if the department a and department b both contain the same person it will included it two times 
what is the normalization and what is its type we have already discussed in dbms part you can go and see in details so normalization is organizing data to reduce redundancy and improve integrity example uh, the there are four forms are 1nf 2nf 3nf bcnf and 4nf and 5nf is also there but they don't need to do that okay you do till this bcnf so 1nf uh, atomic values will be there there will be no repeating groups and 2nf in which uh, first condition is it should be in 1nf and there should be no partial dependency in 3nf it should be in 2nf and there should be no transitive dependency and bcnf which is a stronger version of 3nf means where the 3nf fails bcnf will be used what are the aggregate functions so aggregate function that operates on the set of values and return a single value okay and like you are if you are using for adding uh, getting average or you are counting so when there will be uh, 2 plus 4 then you want a single value uh, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so for that um, you use a function that operates on the set of value and returns a single value like example you can say sum function average function count function max function mean function and uh, how we you will write this like you want to find the average of the salary so you will do select average in the bracket salary average salary from the employee so it will give you the average salary of employee after that query to find the duplicate rows in table similarly you can do for the sum mean and uh, count also this will be the format okay query to find the duplicate rows in table so how will you find uh, obviously if uh, you will count the things like if the same person is occurring for more than one to two, uh, two or three times then obviously it is a duplicate so uh, we can directly do that we are we will count uh, the employees who are occurring more than one time so how will we write select name count a star from employees group by name having count greater than one so we are here grouping by its name and we will count on the basis of that who is occurring more than one time if he is he or she is occurring for more than one time then uh, it is a duplicate row okay what is sub query give example so sub query is a query inside another query like this we have taken for the finding the second highest uh, like that uh, so we are doing here average salary from the employee and uh, then we are uh, taking whose uh, select name from employee where salary is greater than this means two query query inside a query okay that is called sub query what is a view so a view is a virtual table based on the result set of a sql query so view means you can see virtual table when you uh, create any and run it then you can see a virtual table create uh, to see how it is looking or oh, for that you can use like create view high as select name salary from employee where salary is greater than 60000 so it will create uh, a, re, a virtual table based on the result of this query write a query to fetch top 3 high so i have said Uh, here because there we have only uh, want the one value that is second highest salary so we uh, taken the limit one but we are taking three highest salary so the limit will be so we are doing select distinct salary from employee order by salary uh, we have done in descending order on the basis of that we have uh, taken the three means in the descending form so top three will be our highest salary difference between in and exists so in uh, in clause it checks if the value exists in a list or result set okay it is used to check okay uh, and exist is used to return if uh, return true if the sub query returns any row example you can see uh, select name from a student s where exist 
select one uh, one is the row guys don't um, keep in mind that it is used for exist exist is one condition where exists select one from marks m where m student id is equal to s student id so we are the, we are taking that mark okay this is it we have done uh, if you have any query and in the in guys you just need to write here in okay and exist is uh, only to return uh, yes uh, true or false like if this student will exist then it returns true okay bye bye and do subscribe my channel for any query and guidance do comment down below